Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip, and this is Toddy One Skip. So, you know how I like to put, like, um, some uh, images in with my, uh, my work, images in with my video? I was going to do that today, um, and then put this video out, but I, I can no longer, I don't have time to put images in the video and put the video out, because the person that works before me did the wrong paperwork, and I have to redo the paperwork for today because he did yesterday's paperwork. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So all I'm saying is I usually put, um, you know, images in with my video. I'm unable to do that this time because I want to get this video out because I have another video that I want to do. But also Aaron had a response at Down the Rabbit Hole News. And I'm definitely going to talk about that. So I don't want to get behind on things. I, I like putting images in the videos because it, it's just, I think it's better than me just talking. But I can't afford to do that. It's going to put me behind. You could blame my coworker, who I am going to blame tomorrow. Um, but anyway, for everybody that likes, subscribes, and shares, thank you so much again for that. Please bear with me if you wouldn't mind. Um, accept my apology about the video for that you're going to see now. And wait for the video that I'm going to put up about my response to A. A. Ron's response to Down the Rabbit Hole News because I don't think he was being challenged. And um, I want to really go over that. So, guys, thanks. Have a good one. Um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey, guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. I am Toddy One Skip. And I'm glad you're here. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. So I wanted to talk to you about a few things. Um, and uh, so somebody had made a comment in my comments that, and, and this is just so perfect. They had said, um, they were talking about, I, I guess, me. And they said that they weren't going to give up one demigod to go to, the, to another one. And it was so perfect. And I believe that this person said this jokingly, but do you know seriously that what has happened? Because, and I'm not talking about A.A. Ron here, okay? Because there's more to my life than A.A. Ron. You guys that are very fierce in your protection of him, I ask that you please just step away for a moment and stop thinking that it's A.A. Ron and think of it as somebody that you don't know and give that, please, a fair thought. And those of you that are thinking, I don't like A.A. Ron, you're not listening very well. Because that's not what I said. But think about the power of the internet and that phenomena like I was talking about before and how we put so much responsibility and, and, and not so much responsibility, but we put so much into the person that's on the other side of the camera. Like somebody wrote to me, you're very amateur. And I thought to myself, thank you for thinking that. I didn't think I was quite that. Like, what did you expect? And that's fine that you can expect that, but I don't have to meet that expectation, but nobody does. So what what came right to me was that uh, Ruby Frankie Jody Hildebrandt when the person commented about the demigod. And I thought, how easy is that for people? I mean, nowadays, think of all of the misbehavior, all of the cults that are out there. And, um, you know, it seemed to be easy enough to start cults <laughs> and start religions and belief systems before there was this internet that so now there's not even a gatekeeper now you just get into people's living rooms and people's homes and you got to be careful who you're letting in there me included you know i'm just a person with an opinion that's what I am. I never said that I am, um, that, that I am any kind of expert on anything that I'm talking about. It's an opinion, 
but I think it's a unbiased opinion. So that being said, I did want to talk about, you know, um, cults and um, how people follow people and their whole belief system that goes into it and what we tag on that and 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 put on that and you know I did want to um I, I somebody said you know you should talk about Scientology you guys know more about Scientology than me I bet you you know I, I don't want to say that that's not true um I've never been a Scientologist, never looked inso inside of Scientology, um, but I've always been fascinated with, um, you know, the belief systems and, and such. And I don't see Scientology as a religion. It is a business that was built on a belief system that was built on a mind over matter um, you know, Dianetics was something that was, it seemed to be good. It, it helped people. And if it gave them the confidence or the belief to, um, to feel like they had an advancement over other people. I remember Leah Remini saying, you know, I felt like I had, an, that I had more confidence than other people. I was a special person. I felt like Scientology gave me that. Well, that helped her get jobs and auditions, didn't it? It did. So, and Tom Cruise believes that that helped him with his dys dyslexia. So, the other stuff that, that, it, that it turns into after um, the beginning bits, when you start up the this... Um, uh, bridge to total um, freedom or to clarity where you're supposed to be able to get there and then you turn around you find out you got all these body things on you and then you find out about uh, Xenu and all. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. First of all, I don't really need that much shit in my head because I don't believe in that. But I believe that Dianetics, Dianetics was probably something very good. And then what happened was, once it hooked you, it really got you later because then they did the auditing sessions, which made people talk about things that they thought would be kept in confidence. And it wasn't. And now it could be used as blackmail. And some of these people that came into it, um, the celebrities who might not have been as popular as they were, obviously, when they got into it, you know, now there's secrets and tapes of them they people don't want they don't want it to get out you know so there there that's scientology <laughs> there you go that's scientology you want to know about l ron hubbard okay his l stands for lafayette he was from um nebraska i believe he was from nebraska he lied about so much crap so, yeah, so L. Ron Hubbard was uh, born in Nebraska, I want to say, in 1911. And he, um, he was a naval officer, I believe, in World War II, and he commanded, like, two ships, but he was asked to leave those ships. <laughs> Not the way he said that. Not the way he, he said that he did. Here's the thing um, about people that you have to wonder where do they come from like what is in their mind that makes them when they do get people on side that leads them to like dark places you know is it power that makes them hold on to it and then through that power something comes out in them because also, what I've no, what everybody says that I've noticed in joining a cult, this isn't the cult leader saying this, but everybody that's saying in joining a cult is that they started with the best intentions. They wanted to make a change. They all wanted to make a positive change. And I believe that. I think that the difference 
in the cult leaders is that they wanted to take advantage and that they stood behind what they said was a positive change, you know, and, and they're not. It's not a positive change, obviously. But, you know, it's funny because if you look at um, cults, just if you look at them, they behave the same as if it was um, years ago as then if it was a few months ago you could just do the comparison of the chopping out of family and separation by what Scientology does by what Jody Hildebrandt just did i mean they're they're two separate crimes two separate different belief faiths one's the mormon church one's the church of scientology i shouldn't say um Jody Hildebrandt I, I should, because Jody Hildebrand was recommended by the Mormon Church. So, and her thing was to divide and separate, and that's what happens in Scientology. So, you know, L. Ron Hubbard was, was part of that. He didn't start that movement. I think it's uh, it, the very first religion real uh, kicked you out. People were excommunicated for things all the, uh, for things that, I mean, even divorce right so there's always been these rules instead of let it be the feeling that you get when you believe in something that's um that's that's uh, bigger than you not someone but something a feeling like that's what it's supposed to be about but people take advantage of that because everybody's looking for a connection to something I don't even know if we're looking for a connection to another person. We're looking for a connection that makes us just feel right, as if you're like singing a song in key, that perfect, you know, that perfect feeling. Everybody's looking for it. Somebody said in the 60s it was a perfect time to start a cult because everybody, the free love, people were getting, um, there was a hippie movement, there was the Vietnam movement. It, it, and there left so many um, crevices for the ones that fell to the people that fell to the wayside. And if parents would have been parenting better, maybe so many kids wouldn't have been lost. I mean, do you want to go way back to the beginning? But it, I, it's so. There's always going to be something or somebody. There's always to tell you what to think and how to feel. And, and they'll, they'll tell you. Trust me, they're there to tell you. But you, you have to keep your eyes open. You, you have to pay attention. And it's hard when we're involved in relationships and that's what's going on. But you would think that people would be able to separate what's real how do you give somebody like um ruby frankie uh, the mom of eight passenger why are people taking parenting advice from her who is she a woman that has eight kids look at this now i mean that's not right but people have to take responsibility you can't make somebody online your demigod there is no stop nobody you know and when 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 we when we try to find out who we are in the world it shouldn't be dependent on people's approval of us excuse me you know, I think that everybody has an innate um, goodness in them and a moral compass. And they know. They know, right? I, I, I definitely think that they know. But anyway, um, again, people wanted me to uh, talk about Scientology and, um, you know, and about, I guess, L. Ron Hubbard. You know... The guy came up with an idea to make money and have it be tax-free. 
and he called that Scientology. And it came from an idea of um, basically reliving your trauma so that you run your life and your trauma doesn't run your life. Okay, so that's... Um, I mean, there's there's obviously a little bit. I, I I never claimed to have read the Dianetics book, but the philosophy behind it is self help. And back in the um, 60s and 70s, people were looking for self help. People were looking again for a place to go. America was. We were at war with Vietnam. There was psychedelic drugs going around, free love, you know. Um, what gets me about people that um, believe that they're better than other people and want to dictate other people's lives is when they have flaws, when they have their own flaws. And, you know, L. Ron Hubbard definitely, you know, he... He was married twice. I don't even know if he was divorced, actually, the first time. And he literally erased pictures of his first wife, who actually helped him in Scientology. But he ended up falling in love with somebody else. And, and people still followed him. They didn't question that. Like, when does something kick in and say, well, that's not right. I think you got a good idea with Dianetics, but that's not right. And basically, um, the theory of... The theory of Dianetics is that you, you've lived some sort of past trauma and you carry it with you in your life. Um, and it shows up later in your life. And if you don't deal with it, it's going to be like this obstacle in your life. Well, you know, broadly, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because more or less, there's a joke. Everybody has mommy issues. We all come from some sort of trauma. And when somebody says, I could fix that for you, why do you believe them? <laughs> Nobody could fix that. If somebody could fix that, there'd be no problems in this world. So, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The person believing it has to take some responsibility too. But the problem is, is that they get people at a time that they're going through hardships. And, you know, I laugh, but the truth of the matter is, it's not funny because people have suffered at the great hands of manipulators because that's what they are. Like I had said before, and this I, I mean sincerely, the people that join these cults, the followers, they have good intention. Most of them have really, really good intention. It's the leaders that are all fucked up. You know? So, you know, um, and the abuses that those people are going through Everybody from Scientology to River Phoenix and uh, what's the Assembly of God, was that what he was part of? If I remember correctly, there's so many of them. You know, to the poor kids that aren't here anymore because their parents believed in, in shit that is some sort of off-brand of... Mormonism with some sort of prepper um, culture to it where people turn into zombies. Uh, look at how serious this is with, with cults and cult. I, I want to go over and, and learn more about these, um, these cults and the cultures. But I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. I took world religion in college and found it fascinating. And um, there's books that I've read that, and I haven't read all of them, but I find it fascinating. And I, I do want to explore more about that. Excuse me.
I'm between jobs. It's really late for me now. I need to really go to bed to go to work. I need to go to bed to go to sleep to go to work. Yeah, so I just want to mention that. So, again, L. Ron Hubbard cut out pictures of his first wife because to erase her. And I, I had a disagreement with a friend about something totally different. And she was like, you can't change history. And I said, yes, you can. When enough people aren't around to remember it, you can change history by changing it. So you see how easy that is? And, you know, I, I talked about Jody Hildebrand, and I didn't really, I assume people know. They don't know. Jody Hildebrand was a mental health, uh, I think she was a, a psychologist. I don't, I think she was a licensed social worker, but I think she got her um, bachelor's in psychology. But she was a, she was referred by the Mormon church on so many occasions that I, I want to say 80% of her income, 90% of her income came from there. And in the meantime, she continued to um, destroy relationships and marriages. And she did... I, I don't know what her um, motivation behind that was to separate husbands from wives and to abuse children because she's the woman now who is awaiting trial because of the eight passengers. So Ruby Frankie, because I mentioned her as well, and I guys, I thought you I assumed. Anyway, she was um, a YouTube family. It was a YouTube family of two over 2 million subscribers. Now, people took advice from her, 2 million subscribers. In the meantime, she was abusing her children, and she is now awaiting trial because her son, her young son, had ran away from Jody Hildebrand, so the therapist's house, okay? Um, and he was malnourished. He had duct tape on his hands and duct tape on his uh, legs, he was held captive. Okay? So that's what I'm saying when I say we need to pay attention who we're paying attention to. Okay? L. Ron Hubbard is dead. Who you got to worry about now, if you're a Scientologist, is David Miscavige. You know, because supposedly in one breath, you can't change any of the rules because... Um, L. Ron Hubbard's not around. In the next breath, David Miscavige is changing the rules and making people believe that there's other levels that just weren't there to get people's money. And he's out to destroy people. I believe that. I believe that. Just in what his dad said, his dad has passed on. But just in what his dad said... When, when he said, here I go, I'm believing one side of the story. Uh, his dad said that he had, so his dad was being followed throughout his life, I believe. And his, da his dad's phone, while he was being watched by a private eye that David Miscavige paid a lot of money to follow, his, his phone was ringing in his top pocket and, and he went to reach for it and the people got on the phone with Miscavige and said, listen, we think he's having a heart attack. And they said, if, and David said, if it's his time to go, let it be his time to go. So I believe that that happened. You know, that's a hard thing for a son to, uh, for a dad to admit for his son to feel. So I don't know why. Um, I, I don't, I just feel like people that are in charge of um, of groups and are the face of um, responsibility of these groups, they should have, they should be held to a higher standard. You know, David Miscavige, if he's destroying families, what is he doing being in charge of a religion or self-help? Like that's, that's, no, 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 no. So, 
That's kind of how we started all this, right? Anyway, there's a lot going on with, um, you know, cults and um, how people can be ma manipulated. And it does. I bring up a lot of times, I, I say, you know, in, re in personal relationships, because in personal relationships, if we let people dictate to us, it, it stifles us. Uh, it stifles us. It's not good. The, there's um, a Messiah effect going on with that. If we believe that we're always wrong and that person's right, why? Why is somebody else always right? Why is their opinion more important than, than our opinion? What makes it so? We have to question that. You know, I think we have to question that. So, um, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for your, um, thanks for your time today. Thanks for allowing me to be part of your day. I hope that I did not let you down. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you will. I would appreciate it. And um, this is Toddy One Skip. And thanks so much for listening. Be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. Thanks, guys.